Hello happy people, I'm back with another video. And today I'm super excited because one of my favorite gel polish brands reached out and asked me to review some more of their products. And y'all know Beatles is made for me. So yeah, they reached out and I think this is like my second collab with them. Um, this was actually my first gel polish brand um, that I fell in love with on Amazon. And so I'm really honored to be working with them. And so let me show you all the goodies that they sent. Um, so the first thing they sent me was their new rhinestone glue gel. And love the packaging on it. Okay. And let's take a look at this. Oh, nice. Okay. So this here is the Beatles Rhinestone Glue Gel. This kind of looks like the same container that the uh, McCart um, Rhinestone Glue Gel comes in. But let's look at the consistency of this. Let's see. Ooh, Ooh it's really thick. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, it seems really, really thick. I like that. I like it when rhinestone glues are a little bit thicker because when you're applying different rhinestones and embellishments and things like that on your nails, that they're not going to move around when you're applying them. So, yeah, I'm liking this so far. I can't wait to put this to the test. I do have another one of their rhinestone glues. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, yeah, this is the other rhinestone glue that I have from Beatles. Let me see what the consistency is on this one. Let's see. Yeah, okay. It seems about the same. So, yeah, I've had this one for a little while too. And honestly, their rhinestone glue lasts a really long time. So, um, yeah, I didn't have any issues with like my rhinestones or anything falling off the nail. So, yeah, it looks like it's a bigger and better um, container here. So, this one here, so this old one here is 15 grams. So, um, 0 0.5 ounces and the new container that they have here is 35 grams 1.23 ounces so more than double the original size so happy to have this next they sent over a mirror nail polish powder so I'm thinking this is a chrome yeah they sent me over a chrome powder so it's nice that the chrome came with a sponge and then let's see this kind of looks like a champagne colored chrome. I'm going to go ahead and swatch that out a little bit later. But yeah, I'm happy to have this. Oh, it's cool. This one came with like a little brush. I didn't realize that. And then last but definitely not least, you guys, they sent me over one of their um, newest full size um, 15 ml 16 piece gel polish sets. So I didn't even realize that they had another set. And I just so happened to be looking on Amazon and I found this one. So I cannot wait to swatch this out for you guys. I have swatched out two of their other 16 piece 15 ml gel polish kits. Um, the first one was the Bare Nude Collection. So I'll leave that video linked down in the description box below. Then I also did their Neon Collection and I swatched both of those full collections. So I'm going to leave both of those videos linked down in the description box below. But I'm excited to have this collection. I forget the name of it. I'll leave it here on the screen. But yeah y'all, look at this packaging. Super cute. Love the little hollow um, Beatles logo. Again, it's the 16 um, colors. It says Nail Nirvana. That's pretty cool. This is their saying, be bold, be you, be Beatles. This is the side of the packaging. Other side of the packaging. And then here it just gives more information about what's included in this kit. So yeah, y'all, let's get to it. Ooh. Look at all these beautiful polishes. Oh my goodness, I'm excited for this. So, that does come with instructions, so it's the application guide. If you guys are new to gel polish, definitely take your time and read through all of this so that you can know the proper way to apply gel polish. And then y'all, okay, let's get to swatching. So first, we got matte top coat from Beatles. We got their top, top coat, regular glossy top coat. And then we also have their base coat. You guys, this is some of my Holy Grail products that I use. Like when I say Beatles is bae for me, um, this is always like a good go-to for me. I love that Beatles products are like super affordable and they're available on Amazon. So yeah, that's so that's the base top coat and matte. And let's get into these colors, y'all. So, So yeah, you guys, again, um, I'm, I'm really, really impressed at the fact that this kit came with 
15 ml gel polishes so these are full size bottles you guys because of full size bottles you guys and I think this actually retails for like 25 or 26 bucks on Amazon which is a steal for all of these gel polishes I mean literally I have other brands where literally one of their 15 ml gel polishes is $20 and so yeah I just absolutely love the price point on these but yeah let's take a look at all these colors really quick first color we have here is a363 Ooh, okay and this is a really beautiful kind of peachy nude color nice creamy consistency C718 oh okay and this is a really nice jelly nude pink I like that it's a little bit jelly very pretty C719 Ooh, nice that's a beautiful pretty milky white color I don't think I have any milky white color from Beatles C751 which is just really beautiful kind of mauvey purple color or dusty purple that's really pretty y'all do y'all see how smooth this formula is I just love it it's not too thick it's not too thin it's nice creamy yeah I'm loving it next we have C752 Ooh, how fun is this color wow this is a really beautiful gorgeous hollow um, it's like hollow flakes with like confetti pieces um, maybe even some mylar pieces in here this is a really beautiful color C753 Ooh, okay this is kind of like a brick red color this is really pretty it's perfect for the fall C754 this is a really beautiful gold color here it's gold with a couple hints of hollow glitter flakes in there too that's really pretty C756 this is a, a light peachy nude color really pretty C757 Ooh, this is a really pretty brown like a nudie brown that's really nice I like this color a lot that's nice 683 Ooh, nice this is a really beautiful kind of deep um, gray color 686 another nice kind of like mauvey pinky nude 928 okay this is a really cute little dainty light pink color really pretty 930 Ooh, it's a really beautiful kind of like a latte or like a, like a light mocha brown that's really pretty 932 really beautiful kind of muted mauvey purple it's kind of looks similar to I think this 751 color let's see what they look like to, next to each other okay well they're not too too similar but they're kind of in that same color family so these are the two colors that are kind of similar from this collection 935 okay this is a muted brown color I don't think I have anything like this I feel like it has purpley undertones it's a different color I like this and then last but not least we have 963 Oof, this is beautiful milky chocolate brown that is really pretty all right you guys I'm gonna go ahead and get these colors swatched out a 363 wow this applies so smooth so creamy so beautiful self levels nicely this is what I love about Beatles polishes I'm going here C718 oh this is a really beautiful jelly nude this is going to be a nice base color for like glitter ombres french tip nails this is a really nice color to have in your collection I'm going to cure that C719 with that gorgeous milky white color that's beautiful C751 C752 Oh, that's pretty. I love this color. This is such a fun color. C753 Ooh. This color is slightly jelly too. It's giving me vampy fall vibes <laughs> C754 
C756. C757. Six eight three six eight six nine two eight. Nine three zero nine three two nine three five. Nine three six Alrighty, so this is what all of the colors look like swatched out. I'm going to give you all an up close to each one of the colors here. The first one here is 686, which is this really beautiful mauve pink color. 683, which is a really beautiful deep gray. C757, which is a really beautiful brown. 930, which is a really beautiful kind of like mocha or like toffee brown. 928, which is a really beautiful light dainty pink color. 935, which is kind of a, like a mauve purple color. 932, which is a lighter version of the last color. 936, which is a really beautiful brown really beautiful milky chocolate brown c754 which is a really beautiful gold glitter with hollow glitters c756 which is a really beautiful peachy nude c753 which is a brick red kind of a vampy red c752 which is this really beautiful super fun purple silver glitter it has like confetti and large chunks and small silver uh, glitters. It's really, really pretty. C751, which is a really beautiful light purple. And honestly, I feel like these two colors just pair so perfectly together. Like, that'll be a cute set and have the glitter as an accent nail. C719, which is this gorgeous milky white. C718, which is a really beautiful translucent um, pink. Like I said, this would be really good for like nude nails, glitter ombres, French tips. It's a really beautiful base color. And then last we have a 363 which is another beautiful peachy nude color so this is all the colors in this collection really gorgeous really beautiful and next i want to try out this chrome powder i did go ahead and do a white uh, i did go ahead and swatch white on a swatch stick and i put a top coat on it a no wipe top coat now i'm going to go ahead and see how this chrome powder is Honestly, I'm gonna just take some of the chrome powder from the lid, because this is actually gonna be plenty to do the nail with. Okay, and when you're doing chrome nails, a little does go a long way, so this is what the powder looks like in the container. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just um, apply it to the nail. Again, this is all I have on the um, sponge here, sponge applicator. And what you wanna do when you're doing um, chrome nails is you wanna first dab the product all over the nail first and then you'll want to go ahead and just smooth it out okay like so Um, I 
don't know that I can really tell that it's on here. Yeah, I don't think this applicator is that great at applying the chrome powder. It's kind of taking it off. I think I need a different applicator. Yeah, I don't know if this is the best applicator for it, but this is an idea of what that chrome powder looks like. It's really cute, kind of creates that pearly white color. Alrighty, so this is everything that I got from Beatles. I did want to give another special shout out to Beatles. Um, thank you guys so much for sending these products over for review. Um, not sure if I have a discount code or not with them. If I do, I'll leave it here on the screen as well as in the description box below. You all can find these products on Amazon as well as on Beatles' website. These are very, very affordable. I believe this gel polish kit was about 25, 26 bucks. Not sure how much your chrome powders are. Um, the rhinestone glue, I'm sure, is under 10 bucks. So, yeah, definitely I'll leave everything that I uh, demonstrated here in the video down in the description box below. Let me know what you all think about this beautiful gel polish collection and what do you think about this chrome powder. And I cannot wait to use this rhinestone glue to apply some bling and some um, embellishment. So, yeah, definitely check out some of my other reviews that I've done on Beatles products. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If y'all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Hope y'all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.